So Jasmine Sullivan. <laughs> I don't even have to talk much about her for us to know that Jasmine Sullivan is just absolutely amazing. I wanted to talk a little bit about her voice and the way that I wanted to do it is by guessing some of the high notes that she sings. I'm going to use my vocal coach superpowers to make an educated guess on some of the notes that she's singing. And we'll use these guesses to talk a little bit about Jasmine's voice. So let's watch Jasmine's body and see what notes she's singing. Hello everybody, O'Neal Gerald Donald here, and it's time for us to guess the notes again. We've been doing this a little bit of a while now, and I'm really excited. Jasmine Sullivan has been setting the bar when it comes to wonderful music making and wonderful just quality in terms of songwriting, but also singing. I wanted to take the time to talk about her voice. In order to talk about her voice, I'm actually going to guess some of the notes that she is singing at her tiny desk. Without any sound, I'm going to watch, pull some freeze frames that I think would be a amazing for us to pull from and I'm going to guess the note then we'll turn the sound on and we'll confirm if I was right or wrong so let's find a frame freeze and see if we can find what note it is okay what is going on uh what note is that okay so Jasmine Sullivan tends to close the top of her belts as she gets higher in her range she tends to close a little bit more so I'm thinking that this note isn't as high as it could have been but I also don't want to get fooled because Jasmine Sullivan's temperature is a little higher but it does seem like she's not working too hard the first note that I wanted to go with was a B4 yeah and she's not she's not ah! no she's not there you know what I'm gonna guess a B4 she could be around C5 or C sharp 5 but I'm gonna go with a B4 let's see if I'm right okay okay yeah I, I was right this she skips down to the A4 but around where I froze, yeah, she was on that B4. Awesome. She doesn't really carry that openness of vowel to the top parts of her range. And it's just stylistically what she does. Yeah, we got an B4 there. Awesome. Let's find another note from Jasmine Sullivan, shall we? Okay, again, doesn't look like she's working too hard. So here's the thing. It could be a note that's a little bit lower. Like an F sharp four, but here it seems stylistically she's going for something heady. So I'm gonna go with something that's a little bit higher. Now she could be doing a run, so there might be some notes in there. I'm gonna go with about a D5 because it's not too high that she's gonna need to open the sound. It's a note that's gonna be able to be a little bit more close like this. So it's gonna be a little bit lower in her tessitura, but not necessarily too low, especially if it's in her head voice. I'm gonna go with D5. I feel like she's in like a head voice moment here. Let's see if I'm right. You know what? Exactly. See, I, I, I was right. Well, I wasn't right. I went with the head voice thing, but I should have sticked with the first sign <laughs> of my guess, which was that she could have been in a lower chesty spot. And she was. She was actually the note that I guessed before in F sharp four. And then she was gonna do a run afterwards, but that's where she was. Not everything is a high note on the album. Anyway, I absolutely love this game because it gives us a chance to really match what a singer is doing visually with what they can actually do vocally. And it's very interesting because the better a singer is, the harder it is to really guess where they are. And I know that a lot of you are looking to expand your own knowledge of your voice and your own capabilities so that you're able to look comfortable on stage and not in any type of stress. So what I've done is I've created a resource for all of you singers that are looking to expand and increase your knowledge so that you can sing with vocal freedom. All you need to do is go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass. It's got some amazing information for you to be able to take your singing from unsure to unforgettable. Because singing is not an exclusive club, it's available to anyone who is willing to put in the effort and the work to really discover what they've already been given. So go to reclaimyourvoice.ca slash masterclass, watch the masterclass and get your life reclaim your voice <laughs> anyway let's watch a little bit more jasmine sullivan and see if we can guess more okay yeah what what note was that fa fa far what 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 note is that i don't know what that note is now again i don't want to be too extreme with it now here's the thing she's got her head tilted back she's a far she's a little bit further away from the mic neck wise and jaw wise it looks like she's actually working a little bit harder than that b we were talking about before fa I wouldn't go as high as an E flat five. And I feel like she's giving a little bit of force, but again, it's open. Now she can surprise us, but I'm gonna go with 
a C sharp five? I feel like I'm wrong. No, I'm gonna go with a C sharp five. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. I feel like I got this one wrong. Okay, let's turn on the sound. Don't have too much okay, yeah, okay. I'm glad I didn't go on the high side. She wasn't at a C sharp five. She was actually at a B flat four. Ah! Generally for Jasmine Sullivan, if it's open and she's giving a little bit more force, she's not necessarily in the highest parts of her range because stylistically, that's not how she belts. She's not really one of those power ballad. Ah! When Jasmine Sullivan is at her top, she'll touch it and come back down and she'll leave the more open spots to places that are kind of in her mid starts of her high register. So I didn't get that one. Let's do one more and see if I can get it. Okay, there we go. Now, I think this is a great example of like one of Jasmine's belts because I can already see with the way that she locked her jaw a little bit, the like she kind of has this, um, I guess this I don't know what to call it, but just this quality that um, kind of makes her belt a little bit darker and a little bit more husky. And I feel like she's going for it there. Yeah, I feel like she's pretty high there. She can surprise me sometimes, but I'm gonna go with an E5. Yeah. Um, yeah. She could be there at a D5. I'm just gonna lock it in at an E5. Oh my gosh, I don't know if this is right. Okay, let's turn on the sound and see if I'm correct. Oh, yeah. I guess an E5, which was way out of pocket, she actually um, was doing a B4. But what I was talking about in terms of the, the is like she was giving us a little bit of that quality. In terms of tone, I was correct, but in terms of the note, I was off. <laughs> but it's okay. I think that this is a wonderful time to just, you know, celebrate Jasmine's voice and talk a bit about her. And I hope you had a wonderful time as we talked a bit about Jasmine Sullivan. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this performance, if you watched it all the way through, or if there was anything you noticed in terms of watching without sound. And I'm gonna see you in another video, but I don't want this to be the end of the conversation because I want you to subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we help you to reclaim your voice, reclaiming my voice. I'm O'Neal Gerald Donald, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye, everyone.